this, this is just not how I want to start the episode. What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Gas Station Simulator. Welcome back to the Dust Bowl. So you guys know we, we've been working on a, a very intense challenge over there on the right side. We had to fuel 45 cars. We had to serve 100 customers. We had to repair 10 cars and receive at least 40 tips. We blew everything out of the, the water except for the customers. The cu customers were the hardest part by far. And this right here is our 100th Amazing. customer. So we just completed a task there. I think we're going to be able to upgrade our gas station. Yep, upgrade to level 4. Looks like it's going to cost us $1,000. Let's just go ahead and do it. Bam, there it is. Some expansions happening. But before we can get into that, we've got a whole party to attend to. So let's get after it, baby. No time like the present. It's time to make some money. Ooh, look at that. Just one item. See, if we could have had 100 customers wanting just one item, that would have been nice. But um, it was it was a lot more than that. So here we go. We are, we are just going to go as quick as possible here. I'm going to try to get through all of these party goers. You guys know the deal. Let's just make some money, do our thing, and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side good job hey thanks thanks mr alien man oh wow that what what does that tongue do there sir i'm not, not gonna go there um anyway what, one thing i am a little bit concerned about here is uh it says That's answer awful. the phone you better be quick there's something dark on the horizon i'm not really sure what to make of that i'm nervous about it but uh i guess i guess we'll find out soon enough now one update i do want to give you guys is we are still working with John. And, and I found out that if you go into uh, into employee here, you can talk to him and you can like pay him, which we gave him a bonus a while ago, so he's good. But uh, you could talk to him and tell him, hey, come clean the station, come do whatever else. John's good now. He, he's, you know, like a, a level six cleaner or something like that. How did he balance that Corona upside down? That was interesting. The problem that we've had with John is he's just taking a lot of time off. He's going back to the trailer, he's hanging out, he just like, he stops working randomly, and then you have to go into the computer and tell him to come back to work. So I don't know if that's a feature, as in like he's just, he's started to get a little bit lazy and maybe we need to think about hiring somebody else. I don't know if it's a bug and it's not supposed to happen. There is a button where you can reset all cars and workers and stuff. But yeah, you guys can see he's he's full like energy right now. He's rested. He's good to go. He's, you know, had plenty of breaks lately, arguably too many breaks. And and like I said, for whatever reason, he just like he pieces Great out at, at literally the, the worst, the worst possible time. So let's go in here. I'm going to go ahead and place place all that we can place everything over here just want to make sure these guys have access to everything that they could possibly want gonna do my best to try to take care of some of the fuel while we're here but as we learned in our our last party bus main focus just has to be on on the interior cashier work here so we're we're gonna get through it and like i said i'll see you guys in a minute we're actually i think just about done already and off they go the Fortnite bus disappears into the night all right, that was actually, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was probably the, I mean, not not probably, that was definitely the easiest one we've ever had. That was that was paling in comparison to some of the other ones that we've had. So we're, we're already back to regular customers here. We've got that big restock coming in. So back to our uh, our normal normal workflow and uh, we, we gotta go answer that phone call. See, where, where's John going right now? He's halfway through his shift. That, that orange bar is his like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like his, his um, what do you want to call it? Like endurance bar, that's his energy. And he just takes off in, into the night to go probably continue drinking at his at his trailer. A lot of you guys just saw in the comments thought he must he must be an Australian. So uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, we I, I have been keeping an eye on the, the possible employment opportunities. Let me take a look, see if we have any new ones here. So some of them are starting to get a little bit better. We got Daniel Ricardo here. Once a famous sports star, he's fallen on hard times. His career was seriously damaged by allegations of unsportsmanlike behavior based on a uh, popular internet rumor turned into a viral joke. Due to his fame, he's not to take more prestigious jobs and fear of unwanted attention. His work ethic is more or less entirely unknown. I'm, I'm going to hire him. Let's, let's do it. We, we could buy another trailer, can't we? $349. I'm going to buy it. Daniel Ricardo, welcome to the Dust Bowl. Yep, there's there's John drinking. Just don't don't listen to John. Don't pay attention to John, and we're gonna be okay, dude. He's a level three across the board. He only charges 882. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Danny Rick, 
My goodness, baby. I think he's he's starting in fifth place tomorrow morning. We got Lando up on pole. Max Verstappen in the back. Oh, no, I think Danny's in sixth. I think Lewis is in fifth. Or fourth. I, I forget. I watched Quali this morning. But uh, basically, very crazy lineup for the race tomorrow. If you guys are going to be watching Sochi, let me know. But um, yeah, it's kind of exciting. All right. I, I've, I've been watching the employee pool pretty closely. We were starting to get some like level twos and stuff like that. Nothing even close to, to a level three like that there, though. So, very exciting stuff. Let me go see what we've got going on in the garage. You guys will see we are rolling and, and killing it here. We've got full tires. We've got full mirrors. Look at all of these scratch removers. I've been spending tons of money just kind of outfitting everything. And we've still got 742 bucks in the bank. So, things are, are looking pretty good here. But, like I said... Kind of avoiding the phone call at this point. I don't I don't know what to expect. Daniel, how you doing, my man? I like the, the stash goatee situation we've got going on. Oh, yep. I mean, he is Australian. He's a, a bit of a drinker, too. Hopefully a, a bit more of a, a hard worker, though. I'm going to say let's... I mean, I'm, I was going to pay him a premium off the bat, but we, we're, we're going to feel him out first. I, I, I want to see what he can do. So he's pretty good at everything. I'm going to say... Handle the register, my dude. Oh, look at him running. That's okay. John, I want to see the same excitement out of you. Task list. Go, go clean the station. Oh, he's running too. Okay. Maybe old Danny Rick's going to be a good influence out here. I'm also wondering if the fact that we paid a bonus to John, if he's just like, hey, I got money in my pocket. I, I don't, I don't got to worry about anything. I'm, I'm just going to, going to do my thing here and, and just kind of, you know, float around. So let's see. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, he's quick. P1 cash register action. He's he's got pole position in my heart here. Let me. So the the first one was good. They paid. Let me go see what we've got going on for the second one. Hopefully, hopefully she's gonna be happy too. Dude, this is gonna be so nice. Look at us. We can just kick back and relax. We don't have to do anything. We just we've we've got to find a good mechanic, and that's gonna change our life. All right, that. That is what I'm talking about. Let me help out John a little bit real quick. I got you, brother. All right. Let's go answer this phone call. I'm nervous. I will say Something. I need a favor. Oh, damn it. Guess it's that time of year. Better hide, kiddo. I will call you later. Just one thing. Clean up the sand piles when the storm is over. They might cause some issues. So we've got, I mean, we've got our first stay. Oh, it's coming. It, it is, it is, it is coming quickly. Are you kidding me right now? We've got our first sandstorm here. Do we have to, oh, it's rolling over the, okay. I mean, are we still going to be able to work? I hope we can still work. Let me, I mean, people still need fuel. They need groceries. They need everything. Do I actually have to, go? okay. Lightning just struck right there in front of us. Dude, it is... Alright, well, uh, I'm... I'm just gonna work through it. We're gonna be fine. Don't, don't... What's up, my man? Thank you for coming in. Uh, hopefully you're having a good day. Don't, you know, make sure to clean your sand out of your cheeks and, and everywhere else. It's, it's kind of getting everywhere. How you doing, ma'am? Did I can't even see in our, our, <laughs> our garage here. This is outrageous. Kind of, kind of a fun time, though. Kind of interesting. Just making work a little bit harder. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's really affecting us all that much, but you know. At least a bit of a change of scenery. Shoot! They got you messed up, didn't they, bud? Okay, so the storm it, it went by quick. It just it, it rolled right through here. It was a good, you know, 15 minutes. It's going the other way now. But now we're gonna have to get old Rudy out. We're gonna have to clean this place up. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to serve any more customers. So this this is I, I see what it is. It's it's not about the moment of what's happening. It's it's more about the fact that now we've got some extra work to do that we weren't prepared for. Let me clean up in here. We took care of her. She's good to go. Let's uh we're oh my gosh, dude. There's so much sand all over the place. Let's go take care of the fuel. Dude, this is amazing. The fact that the cash register is completely just done. Nobody's lining up. Nobody's waiting to check out. We're just good to go. I caught dude, I mean 
We have enough money to buy another trailer. Is there another decent employee here? Let me let me see. Hire. She's a three at fueling. She's an ex-pop star from Europe. We're just gonna hire a bunch of famous people, baby. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm gonna buy a new trailer, 349. We're gonna throw her on fuel, and then guess what? I'm also gonna expand the fuel station one more. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a uh, a what's it called? A third pump. So we've got a new employee there. Let's go in. I'm gonna say, is it features other? We're gonna go over to our fuel station. I mean, we could buy another bathroom. Probably not a bad look. We're gonna do that fairly soon. I'm gonna buy the third fuel dispenser. Nicely done. And then we're gonna go into our employees. We're gonna start talking and we're gonna put her on fueling cars. So now, I mean, everybody's just at this point, the place is kind of running itself. You know, obviously we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some of the garage stuff. We're gonna have to restock the shelves, but a lot of the tedious work is is already taken care of. There she goes. What up, Maria? How you doing? A pop star in Europe, and now you're out here pumping gas for us. Hey, I appreciate it. Let me make sure. I'm just gonna I'm gonna watch Mr. Green shirt here. Make sure you're doing a good job. All right, made us 30 bucks just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Let me pick up some of this trash. Dude, we are finally like a legitimate business owner. We're no longer running this thing, running around like a chicken with our head cut off, you know, kind of doing everything ourselves. We finally have some legitimate employees that are actually getting things done. Let me see. So sandstorm in the dust bowl, limited visibility is the least of your problems. Sand is the big issue. Each sandstorm will bring about an abundance of sand. You'll have to ask old Rudy for a favor with. It sounds simple. Think about the pyramid. Sand means Rudy. Rudy needs it's fuel fuel is money speaking of which we do have to uh we have to order some fuel supply here so i'm gonna order absolutely as much as we possibly can oh no yeah this we're, we're gonna start having issues here i think there's is there sand in front of the garage yep she can't get out okay that's gotta be that's gotta be our main focus right now i don't even think we want to finish this guy's car because he's just gonna end up running into her so we're we're gonna have to run Rudy, and then I mean, I guess being a mechanic is is kind of our main role right now. Please, sir, come on now. We we've got we've got a long line of customers, a lot going on. Let me hit that right quick. We're gonna have to come over to the gas pumps, grab our own fuel. I don't know where uh, is her name Maria. I kind of forget already. I'm not sure where she went, dude. This this is chaos. Everyone's honking. We've got people calling. We've got to go clear out the sand. Let me go see what this phone call is. For actually, I'm I'm worried. I'm worried. That phone call could be something bad. It it it, it could be more issues for us. We we gotta go. Drink up, Rudy. Let's go. Come on, girl. Take take everything we got. All right. Got about a three quarter tank, and now we're gonna want to. Uh want to to get rid of all of this sand out front this is gonna be very tedious we haven't had to do this since the very start let me go ahead and stop here so we want to pick this up at least that only took one uh one little scoop there but People are getting impatient. Drop the sand over here, dude. Sand would actually be like a, a legitimate, really, really big problem in a place like this. Like this, this is kind of, kind of insane. Big storms coming through. Sand would be all over the place at every crevice. It'd get into all your machinery, all of your, your everything, man. It, it you don't think much of it, but it, it truly is pretty destructive. Now, I don't know what we're gonna do about Mr. Red red sports car on the, the mound there. We might have to push him off a bit. Watch out, Rudy coming through. Stay out of my way, thank you. Mans is is working hard. Don't, don't get in our way. Second dump here. This is just, this is, <laughs> dude, this is a mess. Don't run over the customers here, Trev. That would be a mistake. I don't think they're gonna come back. I don't think they're gonna leave you a nice Yelp review. Now, can I, if I just pull up right on the side of his car here, can I grab this? Ah, okay, let's go, Rudy. I see you, big dog. You can get it done, nice and agile. That should take care of most of our issues. Make it, make it, Rudy, make it. It's about to run out of gas. Come on, Rudy, you can do it. No, I don't think we're, oh, we can. We can still activate it. That's what I'm talking about. Nicely done, buddy. Okay, we gotta go back. So again, some of our workers, now it might be because we have to pay them, but sometimes they just kind of stop working. Like nobody's nobody's in here working. Let me hit the computer here, go to our employees. 
I'm gonna talk to him. See, he he we already paid him a premium. Uh, John's good. Come come clean the station, please. I'm gonna talk to him. We're gonna pay him, and then we're gonna say, come handle the register. We're gonna talk to her. We're gonna pay her, and then we're gonna say. Come uh, take care of the fuel in the cars. All these employees, and they just don't want to do any work, man. It's it's crazy. Just out here still, still kind of doing a lot of it ourselves. Oh, well, at least he came running in. I do appreciate that. Okay, so we're all restocked. We've got a new... Oh, shh. Dude, has this one always been here? Shoot. Okay, we, we're gonna have to grab some fuel. We gotta get Rudy back here. Um, we, we're all restocked. We ordered some new stuff. We've got some new fuel on the way and stuff as well. We are looking a little bit light in the, uh, the money department. One thing I, I do want to do, there's kind of some expansions we can make to our, our uh, mechanic shop. Some new services we can offer and stuff like that. So my plan is to kind of start upgrading some of the other facilities around the station. And uh, we'll, we'll just kind of see how it goes. I guess technically this sand pile wasn't bad. It wasn't in the way of anything. But if we can get rid of it, let's just get rid of it. Now, every time we expand some of the walls... You know, obviously they, they you know, kind of change a bit just because we're adding more space to it. Um, oh, it looks like it went back a little bit deeper here. So we're going to be able to add more items, more shelves, stuff like that. Now, we have done quite a few upgrades since we first started. We have almost all of the colors unlocked. Do we want to go through some sort of a rebrand? Obviously, we've been mainly white. I, I feel like, you know, maybe a, maybe a gray like this could be kind of interesting. Exterior has been finished here, so I went with the sand color on the back and the right, and then I went with a lighter blue color on the front and the left side. I'll show you guys. I think it was this one right here. I just kind of like that. It's light, it's bright, it's clean, but it does add a little bit. I'm excited to see it during, like, you know, the, the day and stuff and, and kind of in sunlight, see what it looks like. I feel like it might glow a little bit, but, um, yeah, things, things are looking good there. I think... Is Maria not working because we don't have any fuel? I will say we have been going through fuel like crazy. I'm gonna order as much as we can. No, it appears that she's just not, she's just not working. So she's just, she's just gonna stand here and do do nothing. But she's still getting paid for it. Wonderful employees we've got here. Got somebody over here in the garage I'm gonna go take care of really quickly. And then we are gonna expand the garage and expand our interior a little bit in there. I think that's gonna be kind of a, uh, a good goal for uh, for today's shift and uh, yeah we've, we've got like some new shelves we're gonna be able to put I think in there and in the garage um, I don't know it, it'll be it'll be interesting I think we're adding oil to our next garage upgrade break this mirror off gosh that is honestly one of the most satisfying parts of this game is is taking mirrors off like it is it is so good okay did I did I miss something I thought there was one more thing that he needed what do you need here sir oh probably another mirror okay Got a mirror on this side. I will gladly take care of that for you. It's so quick, it's so easy, but it's just hearing that glass break is uh, is kind of nice. So let's clean up behind us here, and then we're gonna go. Uh, it's it's time to go do some upgrades. We've got some decent cash in our pocket here, back up to nine hundred and forty dollars. So let's see what we've got going on. Workshop. So we can upgrade here for four hundred and fifty dollars. I I don't even think it costs us to upgrade. I think it's just like you need four hundred and fifty in your bank account. Or more to be able to upgrade so now we're gonna be able to have some engine oil that's kind of exciting can we do it again oh it does actually cost us money okay that's that's unfortunate but we are gonna be able to buy some engine oil now so let me or actually do we want to do that I mean I guess we, we probably could is it on sale let's let's check it's on sale so let's let's actually add quite a few of these I'm gonna add like 15 uh, let's add like I don't know 30. Clean up a little bit in here because it looks like John is uh, also on strike, not wanting to do any work. And uh, then we're going to be able to check out some of the new uh, shelves we're going to be able to place in here. So it looks like with level 3, we got a car care stand, which we have not put in yet. At level 4, which is what we just upgraded to, we have a hat stand and a glasses stand. We're also going to be able to get teddy bears, pastries, and toys at level 5. We're kind of a little bit low on cash. The thing is, is we need to be able to buy the shelf, but then we also need to be able to buy the, the you know, inventory for the shelf. So I think, I think we're going to hold off for the moment and just kind of focus on, on getting our cash back up. I think, let me, here, come on, go... I'll pay you. You're already paid. Please go fuel the cars. Thank you. Now is not not the time for this. You you are you are full. 
You're, you're full. You've got full energy. Please go clean the station, Daniel. I guess... Okay, you, you are looking a little bit tired. Everyone deserves a break, but just, like, do it at the right time. Don't just come out here and sit and, and meander around. Actually, do your job. Coyote Paw brought us our engine oil, so we're going to wait for him to leave so we can seal up the, uh, the shop here and go drop it off at our garage. Kind of excited about this. So it's, it's nine bucks for a quart. I wonder what, you know, kind of a profit it's going to bring. I'm not sure. We have somebody in here, so hopefully we're going to be able to use this for the first time. This is our new shelf. I'm going to place all of these bottles. Oh, wow. Okay. We bought more than we can actually physically hold. Looks like our first customer here is not going to require it, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. Well, Danny's on break. I'll take care of the customers at the cash register. I don't mind, you know, rolling around, filling in. I mean, we're, we're a team here. I like this. We've got teamwork. Sometimes people are open and, and ready to go. Sometimes they need a break. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm not one of those bosses that's going to sit back and relax and just let you take care of everything. I mean, I expect you to work hard, but if you need a break, if you need a smoke, you need whatever, you're, you're good in my book, man. Don't, don't you worry about it. Take your time. Come back when you're ready. So I've got to order some tobacco here. I'm thinking of throwing in either, oh, Viking hornless helm or a horned helm. I... I, mean, I, f I feel like glasses are probably going to sell better than hats, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with some maybe vintage glasses here, maybe some aviators too. We've got space. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we've got money for this. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do one of each of the glasses. We're going to order that, and then we're going to come into features, shelves. We're going to buy the glasses shelf. We don't have enough money yet, but once we sell this inventory, we should should be getting close. $349. All right, so I'm going to buy this. Beautiful. Let's see our inventory. We've got our glasses stand, and I'm thinking, I mean, to be honest, it's kind of an odd shape. We'll put it here for now, but I, I, I think eventually we're going to do some reorganization. The problem is, is again, every time you expand, like it kind of resets everything. It resets the interior paint as well. So like, I'm not going to paint the interior until we do our next upgrade, which I think is our final one. So then we're going to be able to, you know, not, not worry about it again. Tobacco and glasses. Your boy's just out here slanging all sorts of product. Uh, yeah, it's, it's your time to get back on the shift, Daniel. Uh, appreciate you, Ricardo. I, I am I am not working this, I can tell you that. All right, come on in, buddy. It is time to come clean the station for Ricardo. It is time to come in and handle the register. You you can take take a break. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I pay you guys as well. Let me make sure we pay him. And then, actually, I'll, I'll pay him a premium. Whatever, I got you, baby. You've got your work cut out for you here. This is a true test of your abilities. We got John here coming in first, and we've got our other two employees coming up, following behind. Maria's actually already out here, so she's good to go. I'm gonna try to help out as much as I can, but I'm not touching that register, baby. That, that's, not, that's not what I'm about. So I'm gonna place some glasses all over this thing. Looks like you can have 20 in total. Hopefully some of these guys like their glasses. Got to try to restock everything else that we have. You do your thing, Ricardo. I appreciate you. And uh, man, dude, this, this is what life is all about. Look at us. We, we got a party bus going on and we could just leave it in our rear view mirror. All the puns intended. We can just come out here, relax, pump some gas, you know, run over to the the garage when we need it and we still have that dang phone call dude we're gonna answer that in the next episode i have no clue what to expect but hopefully it's good news and not not even more bad news so i'll see you guys later thank you guys for joining me yet again for another shift at the dust bowl and uh peace out